I'm chilling, hanging out. Yeah, Unless so everybody's going... asleep, Kroger's gonna explore the house. <laughs> oh god. I nope. I'm stopping him. If he's walking out the door of the Kroger. <laughs> no, that's when you guys are asleep. Oh my god. No, he's <laughs> chilling. He's not asleep. Yeah, I said when people hanging fall out. asleep. God. <laughs> you, like, oh my god, you devious fucker. Right? <laughs> You just, you go. actually wait for people to go to sleep, and then go I, and explore? So, what do you think Croker actually does when you sleep? So, a oh my god. Of, <laughs> so, a part of me, this is sidebar, a part of me, like, thinks, okay, this is what Croker would actually do, right? Like, yeah. Croker would do this. He would be like, oh, everyone's <laughs> asleep. Let me go see where I'm staying at. Let me see what's going on because of just how his like curious nature is and everything. But yeah, then the yeah. other side of me is like, is Kiwi baiting me to TPK? Like, is he? <laughs> 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 like, is Kiwi baiting me to kill Croker? Is... No. No. I like. <clears throat> Just playing the character, but <laughs> it's your at your own risk. Yeah, man. I. No, it's fine. I imagine since you didn't say anything, T time, my investigations were fruitless. Um, yeah, there's a lot of houses in this t in this city. Um, you find people here and there, and describe you know, describe her, and they kind of look at you like uh. That's either like every drow woman here, or like not. They're like, uh. Wow, I know who's being racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone goes to sleep and Croker's exploring. <laughs> I don't know God. where I'm going. Okay, so you walk out of the room, and mm -hmm. you can either go left or right. The lift. Okay, you come into this, uh. Main, it seems like a worship area. Um, you see a huge statue of Eliastri. Um, you see several benches. There's a lot of, you know, like fine silks and um, such in here. And there's several other statues of Eliastri. There's like a tapestry up. And um, you notice two of the sisters in this room kind of kneeling before the statue, sitting cross legged. And they're just kind of talking to each other. They hear your just... loud, heavy ass walk in and they kind of jump <laughs> up. They're like, oh, <laughs> did you need something? No, I was just curious about this place. Just seeing what was around. I hope you don't mind. Uh, well, be very careful. Of what? Uh, of where you go, don't walk into any rooms that have the doors closed. Even our room? Well, no, that's the room designated for you, so it would be fine. Okay. I'm sorry for disturbing your prayer. Uh, yes, we were praying, that's correct. <laughs> May I watch? RJ presses X to doubt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the conversation we're having is actually quite private, so uh, we would appreciate that privacy. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm sorry for disturbing you. No problem. We should just look around the room real quick. We just walk out. Okay. Take the other pathway. Okay. Um, so you walk into what seems to be like a main dining hall. Um, you see several um, workers kind of going out from the kitchen and taking food down. Um, you see it looks to be like two huge dwarves carrying a giant plate of food. When I mean giant, I don't mean like, oh, it's really big. I mean, this thing is huge. And one of the things you notice is that all of the meat on the plate are raw. Oh. And they're just... Kirkwood wouldn't they really walk think out, about it walk, too much. They walk through the 
the dining hall into um, a room that has a stairway that goes down. <clears throat> you see a Is that the only exit in this room? room? No, oh. no, you see another path. I was just pulling it up. You see another pathway that goes in front, um, like straight through the dining hall. And then you see another door that's slightly open to the left. So you have the slightly door open. Here. You have the it's door open. that was left open by the two doors, taking all that food down the pathway downstairs. You have a door that's slightly open to the left, and then you have a pathway straight in front of you. Well, Kirko wouldn't think much about the food because he doesn't eat. But there's a slightly open door, which just isn't fully closed. So he's going to go over there. <laughs> you come into what seems to be a long hallway that has several connected doors, several connected rooms to it. All, every single door, at least from your initial look, is every single door is closed. This seems to be kind of like um, the area where like bedrooms are, things like that. Yeah. I can't see that any door is open. It was so uh, close to me. Roll me a perception or investigation, I guess. Investigation or perception, you take your pick. Mm, perception's better. <laughs> they are all closed. Um, you hear various sounds coming from each one of the rooms. Um, it seems to be some of them have like people talking. Uh, some of them have. It sounds like some people playing instruments. It generally oh, seems wow. like a quarter area. Hmm. Or close, so Kroku isn't, isn't going to go into any of them. Okay. We just stand and listen at the music one for a second. Instruments. Okay. Playing. Okay. It just sounds like somebody's practicing a lute or something like that. Hmm. It's not great, but it's like it's a work in progress. Okay. Oh, he's gonna make his way back to the dining hall and go in that opposite doorway. The one that goes straight through. Not the one. Yeah. Okay. So you come through here and you go down a long hallway. There are several rooms connected to it. Some of them have doors, some of them don't. Um, some of the ones that do have doors, I would say there's five rooms connected to this. Um, you can tell one one of the rooms as you peer in is for like entertaining guests. It's where you guys were initially brought to when you got okay. here. Um, the other room, it seems uh, the door's closed. It's a very large door. Um, you continue down. There's another room that um, seems to be kind of like the training area. It's where you guys were taken, where Shenmuth was training. And then you come to another area, and it's kind of like a armory in a way. There's a lot of weapons in here, a lot of armors, things like that. And the door that goes straight ahead, um, it's open. The door is open, but you look in, and it's a giant room filled with like tons of cots, and you see several people like sleeping. It, it appears to be this is where like the guards live. All right. Wow, he's going to take notice of the guard sleeping first. See if they do any weird things like Kirk. They twitch. Or oh my god, he's going he in for there a to while. watch them sleep? He's going to observe them for a little bit. <laughs> How long is it? <laughs> like half an hour. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I imagine one of the guards just waking up. Yep. To see this light. <sighs> and, oh, and, and, you just see, yeah, and you just see like this fucking... Uh, like bucket head yeah. with the lens peeking out of the door <laughs> just watching yeah, but, but the thing is like you know when you wake up you can't like really focus that well yeah so it's just like all blurry and you're like Ugh. hold on i need to roll something the elephants ah. yeah shit he's rolling i mean that is cool. <laughs> oh <laughs> what's this so so a guard does wake up and sees you and instantly jumps up and sounds the alarm. He goes, we're under attack! We're under attack! All the guards <laughs> shuffle out of their beds. Oh, no. 
they run oh, into no. the armory, grab all the armor, put on the swords. Where are the attackers coming from? And the guy um, puts his. As soon as the guy wakes up and starts yelling that, Crocus just goes sprint out down back the hallway, down to our room. Oh my god! <laughs> Chase him! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a security what? breach. And they chase after him. <laughs> I believe Krog is faster than these guys. It was 40 foot. Move, right? Well, and you would have a, a head start because they had to <laughs> yeah. snap to and. Dude! <laughs> you're gonna. You're so heavy, you probably leave freaking. Like, with the way you're running, you probably <laughs> left, like, fucking holes in the ground of your footprints. Yeah, you're just <laughs> running back to our room as quickly as you can. Okay. <laughs> They're just gonna gingerly sit on the bed. The spare bed. <laughs> do we do we wake up from him running towards? The door? Yeah. No, he wouldn't burst for the door because he knows people are sleeping, so he would. Yeah, slow down but like. What's their door and open the door gently and go in. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you hear the guards outside going, We've had a security breach. We're under attack. This, of course, raises all of you up from your sleep. All right. So you hear, We're under attack. Well, there's an assassin on the loose. Go, guards, lock down right. everything. I'll get up and... Uh, I put my yeah. armor up. I, I dress yep. up in my armor. <laughs> Crooker just sits up and says, What's going on? <laughs> Don't you hear what's Can, going no. on? They're being attacked or something. There's an assassin running them about. Here's, an here's a question. Will, Are they after Moon again? Would we roll a, like a perception to hear Crooker? You know what? You were asleep. <sighs> I mean, just, just, we just we like were guard, asleep right? and he... And he actually said I would start slowing down towards yeah. getting towards the, the <laughs> room. Get in. Did I make like a stealth check then? Or? You make a stealth check? Um, <laughs> you make a stealth check? Oh. <laughs> Everybody else make a perception check at disadvantage because you were sleeping. I mean, wouldn't that that tie into our passive? Oh yeah, I guess it would, right? Yeah, you yeah, all, I you guess. All totally heard Croker walk in. Oh, I hear him. My yeah. passive oh. is a fourteen. Yeah, Every, yeah, mine. Everybody's a over. Everybody is over a ten, so everybody heard him. Come you hear Kroger. Just see me like close. <laughs> see me like, like at the door, closing well, yeah, it like, slightly. Red, red, <laughs> red conning this. Like, we're just like, Croker, what's. <laughs> What? And then we hear all of this, just like yeah, we hear all the yelling. What have you done? What have you done? Oh, you hear, you hear. Protect the guardian. <laughs> protect the guardian now. Get on. <laughs> Man, just... all the gates. Lock all the doors down. We'll contain this assassin before he gets anywhere near our matron mother. Oh my God. What? I, uh, I mean, I you, dress you. up. Clothes, and I get out, and I grab a guard, and I'm just like, "Who's the person in charge?" <laughs> the house captain walks up and goes, "I am. Get back into your room now, immediately. We're being we're under attack." We I think there out. is a grave misunderstanding. There was one of our very ill-advised companion that went about in the mansion apparently <laughs> all of a sudden the, all all of the sisters bust into the room fully armored up <laughs> with their weapons Daru? in hand they yeah they burst into i the am oh. they burst from i have down to the left and run past the blood you. drains from my face <laughs> Kirk, you see Shenelith, like, still kind of, uh, clasping her armor. Who's the attacker? Where are they? I point at, at Kroger. 
And I'm just like, <laughs> we Fuck. are terribly no. sorry. You have no idea how hard it is to control him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was he... exploring. The sister said it was okay for me to go into rooms without doors closed. I think one of the guards woke up while I was watching him. I was startled and ran back as fast as I could. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. One last roll. <laughs> What's gonna happen? <laughs> you, uh, the major Water. mother comes out of her room, her large luxury. Oh, no. Bully oh, armor, God. fully geared up. She says, "I've already sent message, and we're getting word to, uh, we're getting word to the guardian to wake up as we're being attacked." What is the guy doing? As soon as she says that, you hear. I just fall on my ass, and I have my head. In my oh! Head. And I am like, <laughs> you know, like doing like the rocking chair, sort of, like <laughs> without the chair. <laughs> just like, like, this can't be happening. <laughs> guardian, can you hear that? The guardian's awakening. We'll get this under mm. attack. We'll get this attack uh, um, finished in no time. It, it, seems it was all understanding. Croker. Yeah, Croker, explain yourself to her, please. Well, I decided to explore because I was bored. And the two sisters said it was okay for me to go into rooms without doors closed. <laughs> and, well, <laughs> I was watching the guards sleep, and one woke up. I was startled because he started shouting. And I sprinted back as fast as I could. <laughs> You're telling me that all of this was because of a startled sleeping guard? Yes. Well, why didn't you stay and explain yourself? He there was a lot of yelling doesn't... and an alarm started going. I was startled myself. Well, fine. You, and this is the major mother speaking. He's very unpredictable. And most yes, people don't enjoy being sorry. watched while they sleep. No, they don't. <clears throat> you can learn a lot from people while they sleep. Go back to your room. Sometimes they... Go we are in our room. I'm not talking to you. Shut your mouth. Go back to your room. There is no There is no There's no attack. There's a huge misunderstanding. Call for the guard that sounded the alarm that got all this stirred. They bring forward the, <laughs> the guard that you were looking at. <laughs> he goes, I'm, I'm so sorry, Major Mother. I, I, I was sleeping and all of a sudden this demon creature was looking at me. And so I thought that we were under attack and there was an assassin. And <laughs> He ran, so we chased him, and that's when we called for for uh, the alarm. She goes, well, now because of your your insolence, I have to go put our guardian back down to sleep. Oh, is this what the meat was all for? <laughs> it seems as though... Yes, so. It seems as though... You guys don't understand how to stop and ask questions before you sound an alarm for no reason. But I, I just... I, I... Whatever. Nesbrella, deal with him immediately. He'll know the true punishment for such a grievous mistake. I see that, Croker. You got someone in trouble. I'm still confused about how I can shut, shut my it. mouth and I don't have a mouth. What's your name again? <laughs> shut it again! Yeah, I know, I love it. <laughs> oh, no. You're losing 
so much points with the matron mother. Are you going to? <laughs> his name is his name is Croker. You t- okay, Croker. You're coming with me. You're gonna help me put the guardian back to sleep. Okay. Croker just follows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you all following the the sister the the daughter? Are, following. Do they do they want us to follow? I don't think they care. <laughs> no. Out of concern for Croker, I will follow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, some yeah, of the daughters, uh, Mirith and uh, Nubazella included, um, follow the major mother down. They're like, Mother, do you need help? No, I still have it in me to, to put him uh, back in his place. Very well. Well, we'll we'll go with you just just in case. <sighs> Fine. She turns to make sure Croker is still following. She sees the rest of you and goes. I'm oh. right behind her. Maybe she stops. I bang into her or something. Coming. As she to, turns around. Oh, no, she's she's still walking as she's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> she's still walking. Um, she turns and goes. Oh, coming to see the true power of this house, are we? More like concern about our very um, ill-advised friend. As you uh, go through the dining hall and you descend down these stairs, um, you notice that they're very large, as in wide, um, but they're not they're not super steep. Um, they're kind of like a regular winding um, staircase. Um, and as you are walking down, you're walking down for a bit. It's not like a small staircase. It seems like you're walking down a bit. Um, you come out of a, uh, uh, the staircase into like this pathway that leads into this giant cave. So you're basically like very deep underground right now. And in front of you, you see a giant shadow dragon. Oh, um, kind of flapping its wings um it has what looks to be um like a muzzle on its <clears> mouth <throat> um it's completely stretched out and it's totally roaring right now um because i of... bless croaker <laughs> <laughs> i i oh fuck no i don't have bless because i didn't take it uh i but bless i have oh you have bless yeah you plus four or something um Yes, yeah, it's yeah. 1d4, and what do I have that I could give you? She goes, <laughs> this is this here is the uh, family dailing guardian. I found this young dragon when he was a mere baby, and have raised it ever since. Does they have a name? <sighs> yes, we call him. I'll put a shield of fate on him, I guess. <laughs> Yes, we call just him. just in case he gets attacked. He follows my commands relatively well, but it's getting him to listen to me that's the problem sometimes, especially since he's come to this full size. He is pretty large. Mm, yes, follow me, Croker. Okay. She uh, she walks up and you notice <clears throat> attached to. Um, the muzzle and it's not like a tight muzzle that keeps its mouth shut it's it's kind of like a riding muzzle where like somebody right. would jump on its back and like grab the sort of reins and and ride it you know mm-hmm. um but you notice also around its around its neck it does have what seems to be like a, a very large collar with a very thick thick chain hooked up to it that goes to um a post dug into the wall she goes, Croker, I am. I need to get him settled down. And so what I need you to do is hold this chain and make sure that he doesn't fight me too much. Well, I could try my best, but he is very large. Yes, he is. But since you caused this commotion, you're going to be the one to help me to do this. Every time that I flick my fingers at you, I want you to pull the chain taut. Is that understood? Understood. <laughs> It'd be easy for me if I if I rage, if I get angry. Can I do that? She walks up and smacks you as hard as she can and goes, "Does that make you angry enough?" 
turns back around Sorry. and begins. It wasn't very hard. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? <laughs> see? Do you see Step what I mean me. now? Like, <laughs> sidebar. <laughs> like, this is how Croker would act. <laughs> but there's a very small part of me, like, Kiwi's, like, baiting me to kill Croker. I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> um, so she begins uh, casting an incantation. Yes, Moon, you probably could. Describe this. I'll I'll do a resistance on Croker as well. Yeah, Croker's gonna he's gonna rage. Okay. <clears throat> he just he just lands turn to the red and then the steam and shit just coming out of his vents. So for for one minute, dude, you have uh, a D four for saving throws. Yeah, I'm gonna be within ten feet of him. So if he has to make like a a saving throw, he'll have a plus two. I'll be like ready to run, but <laughs> I'll be within ten <laughs> ten feet of him. And I'm blessed, right? So for it's a minute. Is it? yeah. yeah, I don't know. So you, yeah, I would save that you, to like he needs it. You watch uh, the matron mother um, walk up to the shadow dragon. Um, she places her hands. The shadow dragon obviously recognizes her and begins to... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of nuzzle its nose and mouth up to her, like in a loving mm -hmm. way. Yeah. She she kind of holds her hands on, uh, on the top portion of its lips and it gives a growl. And she begins uh, speaking very loudly in incantation. And as she does... The dragon starts whipping its head back and forth, and she flicks her fingers at you, Croker. So go ahead and make me a a, yank. a strength check. An advantage because of my raging. Mm -hmm. Like a D4? Or is it attack or saving throw? That's attack or saving throw. Mm -hmm. So it's neither of those. No, guidance would have been better here, but it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, that. Sorry, bro. That's right. Um, so Excuse you pull, me. you pull the chain taut. Um, you do find that, uh, because of her spell, that the dragon doesn't resist your pull very much. Mm -hmm. Um, she continues casting. Um, you see a warm, purple, greenish glow start to emit from her hands, and start to wound <clears> the dragon. Um, the dragon continue, starts to stand up and kind of whip its head some more. And give me another strength check. Mm -hmm. Just yanks of the chain. Ooh! Oh, shit! Nice! So you pull, it, you pull it taut, and as you do, um, the dragon is totally brought back down uh, to its kind of its knees, like to a lane position. Um, and as it does, it just kind of lays its head down on what seems to be a built uh, built crevice for its snout. Um, cool. She continues casting the spell, the incantation, and afterwards she goes, very good, very good. We can leave now. He's back to being at peace. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Only because you crit. <laughs> <laughs> I said that as Kroger. <laughs> Well, I've seen him eat more. Uh, I've seen him eat people before, so I'm not going to say well, I wasn't a little concerned. I don't think I would have been that delicious. But you have him pretty well trained, it seems. Well, yes, I have quite a bond with him. Needless to say, Kirk, Jernalt, Moon, please try and keep this thing from stirring up any more trouble. do our best yes it goes very well everyone get some rest i'm sorry i don't rest so it's, it's very tiring and boring being awake all the time as you're walking up the staircase you hear kind of uh muffled yells like cries <laughs> poor guard <laughs> yeah crook doesn't pay any attention so when we get back to the room, I'm going to sit down with Croker and I tell him I have a seat. And I'll say, Croker, 
Yes. Never again walk out of the room when we're sleeping. Until we say it's okay. But what do I do? If, if Watch we're over all in, us, protect us. Watch, yes. If some if one of us is in another room and you hear them yell for help, you can go. But no snooping around other people's houses. What you did was wrong. Well and you need to, to apologize. Bad. Stop. What, what you need to do is apologize Mama to Kirk. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you need to apologize to the to the to the mother tomorrow and that guard that's getting his ass whooped right now. Okay. Yeah, you've heard the the muffled screams kind of stop now. They kind of subside. Well, okay. All right. Good night. You could have been that guard, you know, Croker. Well, I don't think... I don't feel pain, so I don't think I'd scream out like that. (laughs) Well, you would have had a lot of repairs to do then. Well, good thing Professor G gave me a lot of scrap. Oh my god, Crooker. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so <laughs> is anybody else doing anything else tonight? Well, when they fall back asleep. Should we have a watch to watch <laughs> over Crooker? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Are you guys standing watch so you don't get attacked at night? No, we're standing watch so the croaker doesn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> croaker doesn't do anything. Where's Jesus. his off switch? Can we t- power him down for a few hours? Yeah. <laughs> I hope my talking to has is, is, is solved that issue. Nobody listens to his people he trusts. Now, like now, for like a whole week, like none of us are gonna be able to sleep well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> for Chris to pick up a hobby now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> a good idea. What we'll get to do at night? Knitting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reading stuff. I don't know. You guys have hobbies. <laughs> creating. I just, his... I just had to get the right tool. <laughs> creating, creating his own wigs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my. God. Creating outfits for the party. Oh <laughs> no. Scarves and mittens and stuff. Yes. The tea cozies. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Each tower I have to buy some wool. Some yards of wool. And then Moon will start chasing them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, uh, so was, what is Croker doing now? He's just watching people sleep now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> is anybody else doing anything else uh, tonight? No. Going to fuck to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um... So this will be, you know, long rest, um, and we will stop here for tonight. Oh, you cut out. I think he said long rest, and then that'll be it for tonight. Yeah, we'll stop here tonight. We'll pick up tomorrow, or next week. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we started a capital-wide manhunt. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't hear me, it would be I, great. I think it was funny. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> I, I if my stealth check was better, <laughs> like, all right, let's roll for X.